Hello. Do you like my little clear glasses? I've been wearing them the past couple days when I've gone out to drive because it's so sunny out there. I've been wearing the sunglasses, but I'm kind of digging just to keep on the clear glasses themselves. I can't even see them. It's crazy. I'm used to seeing like my dark frames. Wanna say hi? You wanna show them what you're doing? Let's show them what you're doing. Yeah, but I was like, can I see my um, decorations for my birthday? See what? My decoration for my birthday. Cause no, you no, you already came up. You already came up with the theme, so now it's going to be a surprise to what the decorations are. You want to show them what you're doing though? Are you painting? She's doing. I got this new little watercolor book yesterday at. This one was from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And then we have. She's using these watercolors, and then we got this whole pack right here, of the acrylics. You haven't put it in the bucket yet. And then we got new paint brushes. And she got this cute little stencil, which is where she got the little cloud outline from, right? Yeah. So she's been sitting here painting. You don't know what to do with it? No, I just don't know what to do here. here. Um, you can just kind of, we'll do like a light blue around the cloud so the cloud stays white. So it's sky, right? Do it yeah. sky right here? Yeah, why not? Why not? Anyway, so we're starting this day with you guys very late in the day. I stayed in bed until at least 11. I started Marco Poloing my sister at 10.30 and, and then stayed in bed till 11 and then took a shower and then got ready. Didn't even come down for breakfast until noon. It was so wonderful. <laughs> I don't even know what you guys were doing. Sleeping. Sleeping until like 11 at least, right? Because someone was on their iPad too late. No comment. It is still winter break, so I'm allowing it. It's going to end in two days. So, but we are taking Chelsea to the doctor and haven't really mentioned it here, but the past week or two, Chelsea has had little bouts of asthma at night. And we have an inhaler here at the house. Jason has one. And so I've just been having her using it, but also have been giving her some allergy medicine to see if it's allergy induced asthma and if it'll go away. But it's been pretty consistent every night. She has this bout of, oh, my chest feels heavy. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And she goes into a panic and so then we hurry and get her the inhaler. I scheduled her an emergency appointment today. It's not with our regular pediatrician. I don't know when we're gonna, actually I do know when we're gonna see our regular pediatrician next week. Kaylee and Ashley have appointments next week but I didn't want Chelsea to have, to have any more moments of not knowing how to breathe and getting her own inhaler with her own dose. So, I, which I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that they actually do that for her. I don't know if we're even going to be able to pick it up tonight because I think the pharmacy will close by the time we actually get done with the appointment. It's almost five o'clock. Chelsea, I think we need to go, hon. It's the first thing that they, or the only thing that they had available. So, I think by the time we're done with this appointment, Target might be closed for the pharmacy. So, let's go see what's wrong. Let's go and get Chelsea taken care of here. Seems like we're living at the doctor's office these days. So do you want to explain mm -hmm. what your symptoms are? Um, what happens at night? Not breathing. <laughs> well, you, you are breathing. Well, yeah, just like it's hard to. It's hard it to. It feels like something Sometimes, sitting on your chest, right? Yeah. And that's not a nice feeling. And you kind of panic? Well, it's not that I panic. It's just that it gets really annoying. So then like I like start like getting up and moving around. So then it like makes me out of breath. But since when I go to lay down and relax to try to sleep. stop that yeah and like then it just makes it hard to breathe because I'm like out of breath and like then it's like yeah and then the inhaler kind of helps right kind of for the first few days it didn't work because I like didn't hold my breath in the end so it didn't actually stay in my lungs but then the next a day or two like yesterday and the night before that um it, I did it and, then it, and it helped a lot or, all right, let's go figure it out, okay? We are going to get the inhaler, right? But you're also getting a two shots today. <laughs> Both ones or just the one? Um, I don't know if they're gonna, they probably just do it in one. Uh, flu and a booster HPV. So that's just because we're here and we might as well, right? Yeah, whenever they mention it, you're like, do it. Yep, I'm like, we're here, we've got an appointment, let's get it done. So the fun 
funny thing is, um, I think I mentioned it before, but our regular pediatrician, we're not at the regular office, we're just within the same company, but our regular pediatrician has taken a very long sabbatical <laughs> and much deserved. And she's back in the office starting next week. I have an appointment with Kaylee on Tuesday, Ashley on Thursday, and now Chelsea on Friday. <laughs> she's gonna laugh so hard at me because <laughs> she knows I'm not like a, like a reward of a mom, but like all of a sudden she's back in the office and I'm like, okay, here's all my kids. I need to have all of them be seen, but they're all very specific things that they're being seen for. So anyway, we're just gonna follow up. We're gonna do the inhaler for a week and allergy pills at night and see if that makes a difference and go from there. There's no telling if this is like definitely asthma or if it's just like an allergy thing. I don't know. Okay, guess again. Um, the doctor just called us back. I haven't even gotten the car started. I went to the bathroom, luckily. Otherwise, we would already be away from the office. But she's like, you know what? I'm, I'm second guessing my thing. She's gonna prescribe one more thing for Chelsea, but she has to show us how to do it. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's not the inhaler. Maybe it is. Maybe it's something because she knows how to use an inhaler. Or she's trying to surprise. It's not like the early birthday. No, stop. <laughs> You're still at the doctor's office. I know. Little twit. So anyway, she's like, if you're not too far away, I'd like you to come back in. And I'm like, we're literally in the parking lot. <laughs> so we're gonna go back in. She'll show us how to use whatever it is she's gonna prescribe. And then we'll go pick that up. And as she's usual, very out of breath. <laughs> no, I'm not, it's cold. I'm not out of breath at all. I'm just, it's just really cold you're out like... here. And we were hoping to get the sunset. See the glowy skies? We have like the perfect view up here. But I think we just missed it. We were kind of hoping to drive over there. Okay, they were all waiting for us in there. We got these two to practice with, right? Yeah. Okay, this one is called the, what is it, Flonase? I don't know. See that, Flovent. So she added it's more of a steroid, which I kind of thought that they would do if they really were worried about it being asthma. Again, I'm accustomed to this. This is not new news to me. Asthma is in my family. So I've grown up with both of these remedies my whole life. So she'll do the flow vent and she has two different kind of puffers for it. One of them, you, you just put the mask over your face, your mouth, kind of like and you just keep breathing it in once you've puffed it into the cartridge. And the other one is, it's just like an inhaler where you have to take a deep breath, hold it for 10 seconds. No, to take a deep breath out. Like right, and then hold it in for 10 seconds and let that be in your lungs. So they give us both of them to practice and then she'll just do the, test which one's better. yeah, which one she likes better. And then she'll do the inhaler, the albuterol um, as needed. But now <laughs> she's like, if you're doing this, it takes time to actually have an effect. And she's like, so cancel that appointment you just made with your regular pediatrician and go and see her in a month. So we will do that. So I don't have three appointments next week. I will just have two. So now I need to rush to get the prescription really quick before the pharmacy closes. Why does and then go to the dollar store. What? We'll show them tonight how to do, how you use it. We're gonna practice with both of them. Alrighty. We were the last ones out of the office. Even the lights were all turned out by the time we walked out. So I bet dad called too. They called him as the emergency contact. And he was like, he sent me a text message and he's like, they're supposed to go back to room six. Cause I, I didn't hear my phone ringing cause I was in the bathroom in the building. <laughs> So anyway, I think he's worried that something is wrong, but it's not. So I'm gonna call him. <laughs> Say that again. What what helps? Dad's on the call with Chelsea here. What do you think is gonna help Chelsea the most? Well, I think it'll help if she tickles my back at nighttime. Nah, no, 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 no. That makes it a lot, lot worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it might help if you tickle my back. Oh, uh, it will. Oh, uh, <laughs> sucker! Dad is a sucker. So now that you say that, he's going to do it. Oh. I already tickled her back. Do you do. <laughs> and then you end up like, oh, wait, what do you want? Because like, that's good. All right, I got to get on the highway. Um, we got to run right. the prescription really quick. So we'll see. Are you headed home? I'm headed home. Drive safe. All right, love you. Love you, you. Bye-bye. All right, so we got our prescriptions, <laughs> and then we ended up with this. Is that pretty heavy? Yeah, She's like, I, I, want some, this arm. I want some tater tots, and then we got ham, and then we found hash browns. That are like patty ones. She loves Good. the patty ones. Can you hold this? Yes, I can. All right, it's been a couple hours. We're showing Chelsea here, how to do this. Here. We're going to insert, this is the stick. I'll come over there. I'll like get the camera, come over here. So we're going to, oh, wait, this is the steroid one. This is the, what do they call this one? The, it's not upside down. Flovent, okay? 
So you need two. Yeah, that's the albuterol inhaler, and then this is the flow vent. Okay, so yeah. you're gonna you're gonna put the <laughs> Chelsea Murray. I think it's this part goes over your nose. Yeah. Okay. So you put it over your nose, and then oh, we didn't shake it up. Right? You shake I it up. Do it this way, in a way. <laughs> you normally do it before you put it in there. It'd be easier. Okay. I just attached that because I don't want to lose the instructions. And then puff it, and then you're going to take five or six breaths. Go ahead. I can't, I can't push the button. Okay, you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. You get it over your nose. <laughs> I want to get a thumbnail. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay. You ready? You got to get it from the side. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> just having fun with it. All right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You ready? Serious. Okay. Ready? Take Wait, five, five or six. Out and then? Nope. You just take five or six breaths. That's why this one is a little bit easier. Just breathe into it. Okay, now. That's why I kept like trying to push it on my face. Oh. So I was like struggling to keep it up. It was open, right? Yeah, no, it's like right here is like a vent for you to breathe out. But then I didn't know it was there. So oh. it was like, is it on correctly? <laughs> yep, you can breathe in and out. Now, what is the one thing she told you to do after this every single time? Do you remember? This is really important. Uh, the, hot, or the water on your tongue. Yeah, water on your tongue. Do you know why? The uh, stuff. Yeast infection on your tongue. I don't know how many times my mom. <laughs> I forgot to wipe my tongue. Now I have a yeast infection on it. It's going to be very important for her to remember that part or she's going to be miserable. Absolutely miserable. So she's also going to do the inhaler tonight as well. I'm just going to have her uh, do this one and just hold her breath for this guy. I mean, she can do this one for the inhaler as well, but it's the same thing. You still have to hold your breath. So it's easy for her to do this one. And then she's already taken an allergy pill, and this will set her up for tonight. And then tomorrow morning, I will call and cancel the appointment we have next week and just reschedule it with her pediatrician for a month from now. So hopefully she actually sleeps well tonight. I'm actually worried, because like I was looking at her face, and she has like these deep blue sockets right here. And I don't know that I've ever noticed them before. And I'm worried she hasn't been getting sleep beyond what she's even aware. And so I'm, I'm thinking that she's having more of a hard time breathing at night than she's aware. So I'm gonna keep an eye on her face over the next couple weeks and see if <laughs> she hasn't been sleep deprived at night as well. Okay, you got a towel. Did you wash everything off? And then I would advise to do some mouthwash tonight as well. Oh, we don't have any upstairs. There's some, there should be some in my bathroom. Okay. Now, you know how to do this, right? Do you want me to punch it? I don't it? really have a straight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. So, she's being very nice to me, letting me do this. Yeah, there's a hair tickling my nose. <laughs> Sorry. Come here. Sorry. She's got like really deep Under eyes. purple right Thanks. there. And I'm thinking she just hasn't been sleeping very well. Yeah. Okay, so you ready? It drives my eyes and then it's Yes. Me. Yes, okay. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on that, literally. L literally. <laughs> Do you hear how annoying she's been? They're talking about the like um, blue stuff under my eyes. She's like, we'll keep an eye on it. Okay. <laughs> okay. You love me. Let's do this now. Okay, okay, Back okay, okay. Topic. Here you go. No, no, Back on topic. Do it. Do it. You said you wanted me to puff it, right? I have to hold it if I'm going to puff it. We're actually gonna do four tonight. I don't see anything big with your eyes. No, no, you have to look up here. close. I think you're just tired because. Yeah, no, I know she's just the tired. Kids have been keeping her up the last few. Well, months. and this, I think. So we're gonna do this four times. You want me to help you each time? I can try pushing it down. We won't record each time. Four times what? From three to seven in like one second. So I should really keep count next time. <laughs> Yeah, you probably should. Okay, one more for safekeeping. This is number four. Yes. I think you're going to sleep a lot better tonight. Are you all ready for bed? I think we're extra tired. How about we do another half hour, hour of screen time and then bedtime? Oh, you are? Okay. All right. <laughs> to have rambunctious kids. So I'm going to end this little video. Chelsea has done a very good job today of figuring this all out and being open to, where did I just put that down on top of? Okay. 
Okay, getting this taken care of and she'll be very diligent in doing this every single day. And we're gonna keep one inhaler upstairs for the nighttime in case she has a little episode where she can't breathe. And I think we're set. Put all those inhalers up in the cupboard. But we will check in with you as the weeks go on and let you know how well she's doing. Um, but otherwise, I think it's just kind of a long-term treatment and hopefully it gets better over time so thank you for watching you guys take care you got a little extra chelsea today because she kind of was the whole focus of this video which was kind of fun it was fun to spend the evening with her and um and you guys get to see kind of her demeanor she doesn't get on the, the videos very often so you got to see her little spunk which is really fun because that's chelsea like 100 percent. so take care and we'll see you guys next time